Alright guys, so today I want to talk about the Razor Track at Lakeview OHV. So to start out with, we'll just go through a lap and I'll try and explain everything. And then after that, I'll just explain why I like riding this track so much. So to start out with here, we have two really small berms um, going into a small wood section. And then a straight and a berm coming out of the wood section into a very small double. I mean, it's almost impossible not to clear that thing. And then we come into a sand section here. So in the sand section we have two berms where you can absolutely rip through them if you hit them right. But you have to be careful because this is really loose sand and it will take your tire and just stop you dead in your trails. A really small tabletop, uh, that tabletop can get pretty rutted into another berm. And then you can either go straight or you can go to the right over a small bump and then hit the wood section here. So you have a lot of options with the woods. Uh, I kind of predetermined my trail here. So take a left into some flowing woods and really fast and open stuff coming into now a small creek crossing to an uphill with some roots gotta be careful back down cross the creek and then this trail is really rutted right now but it gets better throughout the year into a small uphill with a lot of roots as well back onto the trail here gonna miss that berm to the right um, into a small single and then another tabletop. It's really hard to clear that tabletop, but this track is meant for razors. Coming into a uh, another berm and then a small loop section. So with all that being explained, you can kind of see for yourself that this track has a little bit of everything. So this past year I've been racing GPs and I like this track a lot because GPs are more open, fast flowing type stuff. It's a mixture of motocross and woods. So this Razor Track is about as close to an actual GP as I can get. And I can practice pretty much everything I need to practice on this track. It's not ideal for me to be practicing this just because it is a Razor Track so it's meant for quads and razors. But I mean, it is what it is. The thing I like about this track is just how flowy it is. It, I mean, it's pretty smooth. Aside from the transition from the uh, track to the woods, there used to be a better, more predetermined, I guess, uh, um, trail into the woods, but somebody must have gotten hurt colliding with a rider just riding the trails, and they must have closed it off. But if you ride it right, then you can get into these trails and they, these are a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with them. It's not a, a big uh, trail session. It's not very long, but it is fun. And then, like I said, you practice what you need to practice. I get small hill practice, which I mean, I don't need much of just because it's, it's easy. Anyone can get up it, but also uh, creek crossings and there's a ton of roots on these trails as well. So uh, it's not really the difficulty because overall this track is really easy. It's more just the speed in going through things and trying to get faster and faster every time and trying new lines. And that's what I like about it the most. So yeah, it's a pretty easy track, but it's a lot of fun and you get out of it what you put into it. So if you're really trying and pushing yourself hard like I try and do, then you will improve obviously and hopefully it shows in the results but yeah I mean I make a lot of videos on this track and uh, I always called it the the moto vlog track or the vlog track in season one of my videos I think every single year I've ridden this track and had at least two videos of it so I figured I'd just dedicate a video to why I like riding it. So guys, let me know what you think of this track. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.